It's that time again, the sweet, bittersweet smell of a new haul video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting edition of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and yeah, the first haul of the new year, but at the same time, all the books that you're gonna see here are from 2020. So I am labeling this the last haul of 2020. I didn't do one last year uh, because of uh, things that happened, but here we are with a pretty cool, for my budget at least, a pretty massive anime and manga haul video. There are, no, there are no figures or games or comics or none of that. Movies, none of that stuff. Just purely anime and manga. If you've watched my channel before, I'd like to include a little bit of everything. All the geeky stuff I acquired at the end of every month. But uh, October, November, and December 2020 were terrible months. Uh, specifically uh, November, and I didn't get anything. Uh, sure, I highlighted some things, but the majority of what I wanted to geek out over and talk about, uh, it simply did not arrive. And uh, here we are now, uh, almost at the end of January uh, 2021, and I'm doing a video on uh, the what was to be the final haul of 2020. A little bittersweet. I do have a couple stories that I want to share with you guys and a couple of announcements, but let's get to the haul because that's what you came here for. If you're new to the channel, I do this at the end of every month, highlighting all the stuff I acquired. If you want me to review a specific product from the haul, leave those comments down below and I'll add it to my uh, infinite queue list of things I need to review. So let's start with manga because manga is cool. All right, from Viz Media, we've got Demon Slayer Volume 19, and I hope this isn't a spoiler or anything. I just want to highlight some of the cool art inside. Um, yeah, I can't show anything more because I'll spoil things, but here is Volume 19, followed by Junji Ito's Remina, which is pretty interesting. I appreciate the textured spine, the, the feel of the textured spine, but this is sort of a matted, glossy cover, which I kind of don't dig. I was, I wanted this finish on the whole thing. If you own this book, you probably know what I mean. Uh, and this is another, this is another Ito book that kind of stinks. Uh, I don't know what paper quality they're using, but it's kind of, uh, it's not good. I don't like the smell of it. But here's some of that artwork right there, this sci-fi spooky tale. Hopefully I'll be reviewing this soon on the channel. I still need to talk about uh, Venus and the Blind Spot, which I have not reviewed on the channel. Uh, so look forward to that first, and then we'll go over Remina. Uh, here we have Maison Ikoku Volume 2. Love the textured feel on this. Uh, completely different from Remina. This is really cool. The art is fantastic, and uh, it's probably going to be a while for me to review this thing, because this is my first time reading uh, this title. So eventually I'll make it happen on uh, the channel. But speaking of uh, Rumiko Takahashi, I had to do it. Here is Mermaid Saga number one of two. There are a lot of uh, not safe for work images. I'm not going to uh, tempt fate with the YouTube algorithm and their censorships and all that fun stuff, but you can probably see some of the artwork right there looking pretty awesome. I love me some good uh, folklore slash horror, so I can't wait to dive into this. A uh, volume, I said dive, it's a mermaid, I get it. But volume two comes out in February, so you should expect a review pretty soon after I get that book. But uh, yeah, I, have, I do have a, a quick story about this and I do apologize for sort of breaking the haul video in half. Mermaid Saga. Um, how do I even say this uh, without tearing up? Um, last, I, I ordered that book in October, and uh, you might remember if you ordered that book, it had some issues with shipping, and a lot of people were left hanging, and I was one of those where I had a massive order of stuff, and I just do like one order a month and throw everything in there and just uh, let the shipping uh, deities decide. Uh, what happens to it, but I made that order and it included Mermaid Saga. It didn't ship and I kept waiting and waiting and one of the last one of the last conversations I had with my dad 
before he's passed away, uh, we were talking about uh, shipping. Because one of the things that he would gladly do uh, was go to the post office and grab stuff for me because I wasn't able to because of work hours and all that stuff. So he would constantly uh, go, like maybe three times a week or something. And everybody in the post office was... They were so loving uh, with uh, my old man, and they they cared about him, and they were friends. And he would go there and chit chat with all of them, and uh, they formed a really nice relationship. And one of the things he always told me was, "You gotta learn how to treat people, and that'll open doors for you." He didn't mean it in a malicious way or none of that, but um, like since he knew these guys uh whenever he'd show up uh if there was a long line they'd be like come on over i got your stuff there you go and it was usually just packages for me because i buy a lot of stuff online clothing and, and uh, books anime games all that stuff i don't really like going to stores i don't like socializing with people is what i'm trying to get at so uh dad would always uh do that for me and um it was always fun to get it's always fun to get packages so when he was in bed because of what happened um uh other family members uh did the favor and got some packages for me and all that stuff and it was a little bit of a hassle because the mailing system would say it arrived but they had the crew over there hadn't uh, scanned it it was it was a mess um, that happens from time to time and we would get frustrated about it and i would joke like oh my gosh these guys but at the end of the day you know they're human uh people make mistakes uh stuff happens i don't hold a grudge or anything so one of the last conversations like i was saying uh when i got uh, i believe it was when i got the bebop final on the last haul message video that i did um he was like um he told me so that's the last box right or are you expecting what else are you expecting i'm like well there's this big freaking package from right stuff and it got freaking delayed because of mermaid saga and uh, they haven't even picked or scanned because it hasn't arrived so it won't ship for a while and since it ships in media mail it's going to take even longer so don't worry about it whatever it'll arrive i don't know probably next year prophetic words i say but uh dad i know that you're watching and uh here is uh mermaid saga it finally arrived it's uh it's a little bittersweet uh for me to hold this and think of that but nonetheless um uh, uh this book now has a lot of meaning for me in a very different way and i can't wait to dig in and and, and read it Continuing from Viz Media, we've got Beastars Volume 9. Beastars is so awesome. And just, I, I mean, I love the art on this and just seeing the author's evolution throughout the story. You compare the art from Volume 1 and you see that progression. It's so nice and beautiful to look at. I love me some Beastars. Uh, the only thing I got from the Christmas sale from everybody, whether it's uh, Sentai Filmworks or uh right stuff all their christmas deals and all that stuff i didn't grab anything um i wasn't in the mood for any of that stuff however i couldn't pass this up because i i believe i told you a couple videos ago that i totally forgot i was collecting uh to your attorney i only have the first three volumes and that was ages ago so they had a bundle sales and i got at least i grabbed one which included to your eternity volume four volume five and volume six so i cannot wait to uh dig into more to your eternity because i really loved those first three volumes and i just totally forgot to continue getting the series so now uh i'm looking forward to it next a double doozy of slime goodness we have that time i got reincarnated as a slime volume 14 and slime volume 15. so that's all the mon no actually no that's not all the manga i forgot about something really awesome here's another quick story relating to that mermaid saga thing uh when i was asked is that the last shipment i forgot to tell you guys yeah sure mermaid saga hasn't shipped yet i was mad a uh, silly little rant you know um uh the other package was i got an order from book outlet some um, discounted manga and that was supposed to arrive early November, but I, I made the order on Halloween 2020, and I got it almost at the end of December. 
and it was uh, Dragon Quest Monsters Plus. Here is Volume 1, 2, and 3. I got this for like 3 or 4 bucks each, which is awesome. And you can probably tell I was really motivated and pumped up because of the Adventures of Die uh, anime series, the reboot. I love that series so much. I'm loving it, and I wanted more Dragon Quest in my life. Uh, back in September, I got Dragon Quest XI as a birthday gift, so I'm, I'm going in on the Dragon Quest franchise, and I'm really excited, and I wanted to grab this. I know it's related to the uh, 3DS game, if I remember correctly, but I heard that you get a pretty quick summary here at the beginning of volume one and you can just go in because uh, you know it doesn't look like it's too complicated it's it's dragon quest you know you're gonna have some fun so the story behind that is uh i ordered that on halloween and it's instead of sending it to my address it got delivered to uh, it got sent by mistake to san francisco so that was another four weeks or, or so before it arrived and it coincided with my mermaid saga story so i uh, told my old man uh, the Mermaid Saga stuff, and then there's this, which got sent to San Francisco, so it's going to take uh, maybe four more weeks, so don't worry about it. But, again, here it is. Uh, here it is, Pops. Uh, Dragon Quest Plus, or Dragon Quest Monsters Plus. Finally got here. Time for some oversized deluxe manga goodness. I had to do it. I was going to get the anime, the 2019 anime, of this uh, Blu-ray, which just came out, but I couldn't say no to deluxe manga uh, hardcovers, and I went ahead and picked up Blade of the Immortal, the deluxe edition, volume one. I've only seen the show, I've never read the manga, and I'm really excited to finally read the story in amazing bloody deluxe edition. Let's see if I can uh, get a cool splash page randomly. And come on, guys. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you get this page instead. Look at that beautiful art from Hiroaki Samura. Can't wait to dig into this. And something that everybody got, and I totally forgot to grab. This is Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 6. I already own all of Berserk, and I've read all of Berserk. So I'm upgrading to the Deluxe Editions, and I got Volume 6. Um, yeah, this is a good page to show you guys. No bloody carnage or nudity or anything weird and i kind of lied uh the dragon quest plus does include a comic book it is godzilla kingdom of the monsters kingdom of monsters so sorry it's not all anime and manga okay last but not least anime continuing my sailor moon journey this is sailor moon uh super s or season four part two which you can see my sets over there i can finally complete season four I'm still working on my review for Sailor Moon, but it's coming. Don't worry about it, guys. I'll, I'll, it'll happen. Don't worry. Uh, that also came with these cool little art cards that I wish could be stored inside the uh, Blu-ray box. I hate that when the art cards are oversized. I love oversized art, don't get me wrong, but I have no storage for it. But nonetheless, it's uh, pretty cool to have. And... Um, I picked up for cheap on Amazon. This is Sailor Moon Sailor Stars, which is basically Season 5, Part 1. So all I need is Part 2 of this and maybe the movies. I don't know if I want to collect the movies or not because uh, of space reasons. But if I do get them, fine. If not, I'm just happy to own the series. So here's uh, Season 5, Part 1, the limited edition box set, which was on sale uh, over the holidays for cheap. I think it was like... Uh, $30, $32 or something like that out of 60 which is great. Um, more anime that I got. Cautious Hero. The hero is overpowered but overly cautious. I was going to grab the deluxe edition, but I didn't need it, and I'm trying to save space. I really love the series, and the only thing I wanted from that deluxe edition was actually the uh, reels bookmark, like, um, re like the actual reels from a camera. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I'd rather get this instead and save myself some money and grab some manga or something else instead with that savings. So there is Cautious Hero. Uh, finishing Iron-Blooded Orphans. I got 
Season 2 Part 2 for $12. Because they're uh, dumping this out because they got the Season 2 Complete Collection and everybody wants that instead of this. So in comes me and uh, I grabbed this as fast as I could. One of my all-time favorite series, finally, finally on Blu-ray, Paranoia Agent. I had to grab it as well. And, of course, one of my favorite shows from 2019. Here we have Dr. Stone uh, Season 1, Part 2, the limited edition box set, which has a lot of stuff. Uh, art cards and uh, keychains. You've seen the unboxings here on YouTube. I'm not going to bore you with that. However, I do want to talk about something real quick. And it's the fact that, holy crap, guys, look at this chunky art book pamphlet, whatever you want to call it, other companies, and even Funimation itself, they cheap out and do like a little pamphlet, maybe 20, 30 pages, and uh, that always ticks me off because I want an art book without um, overspending, you know, because uh, nobody sells these art books, you have to import them. I don't want to pay those prices for it, but to have this 100-page uh, art book is awesome. I mean, you get detailed art from the character designs, information on the series, interviews, uh, roundtable discussions, you get uh, episode descriptions, art, backgrounds, I mean, interviews with the cast and all that stuff from the Japanese side with the seiyus. This is what I'm talking about, right? I mean, look at all the info that you're getting. I love this so much. And it actually smells fantastic. I don't know what paper they used for this, but it smells really good, uh, as weird as that sounds. But yeah, just really awesome stuff. I love this set, and it has a really cool uh, textured feel for the parts that are made of stone. That is really, really awesome. Before we end this uh, haul, I want to give something back to you guys. And whenever I get some Blu-rays and anime, and if they come with any digital codes, I like to give them away. So that's it, everybody. That's all the stuff I got, hopefully. Uh, next year, or this year rather, 2021 is a lot better for everybody and myself included. Um, thank you so much for watching. As for a quick channel update, I made a video that I took down because of uh, internet technical hijinks. Um, I didn't want to keep it up because <laughs> it actually recorded like half of what I was doing. Uh, I made an announcement on that video back in November that I was changing the channel a little bit. Every year I like to make changes to my YouTube channel. I uh, review what I've done and change up a few things. Uh, the scheduling will remain the same. Videos, whenever I upload, it will be on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday basis. I'm not going to do anything on Tuesdays or Thursdays, uh, nor the weekends, unless it's an impromptu live stream. But all the videos will be uploaded Mondays, Wednesdays, and uh, Fridays. Mondays will probably always be manga related, and Wednesdays will probably always be anime related. Fridays, if I don't upload a, a comic book related thing, it'll be a live stream or a, uh, an anime themed or a manga themed live stream or something. Live streams will usually be Friday nights because um, I like that, you know, chill vibe. It's Friday. So yeah, going forward, the channel is going to be heavily focused on anime and manga, but I'm not going to leave out the folks that like when I talk about comics. Don't worry about it, even though I'm not reviewing any Marvel or DC stuff, I will be covering a lot of digital stuff that is uh, that companies are sending me because I do have a couple that I've not talked about yet. I started getting those back in November, but obviously with things that happened, I kind of put a halt on everything. But I do have some really cool things coming on the indie scene. So I will be talking indie comics on Fridays and all that fun stuff. So that's sort of it for announcements. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, look forward to more videos, more fun on the channel of We Can Geek Them, where, you know, anime, comics, manga, all that fun stuff. As always, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see content like this. Uh, be sure to be uh, subscribed and all that stuff. Uh, remember to hit the like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm because I don't really care about the money. I just want more people to watch the channel and I want to entertain more people. 
uh, and you can do that by hitting the like button and YouTube takes notice and starts sharing the video to more and more people. That's the goal for 2021, right? So thank you so much for all of that. If you're interested in uh, uh, the Weekend Geekdom shirt, there's a merch store link down below. And that's it. I got nothing else. I got to go. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless you. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.